Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Look at that, it's the old school Motorola Droid. Remember this guy? Well, now he has Android 2.2 on him. Yep, here's Froyo. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the home screens. This is a clean install, so if you installed on top of your uh, current build, you should be fine if you get it over the air. All your icons and everything should remain the same, but this is all wiped clean, so here's why we're seeing new stuff. And there we have the little Android 2.2 tips widget. We've seen that before on the Nexus One specifically. Uh, come on, there we go. We can start swiping through the home screens, and we got a blank one. There's the news and weather widget. We've seen that before. Uh, we got our Google search, our tips widget, there's the Android market widget, and there's a music widget. Cool. And another blank screen. So down at the bottom, you've got your little dots to hop back and forth. You can push. And if you hold, you get little cards like the Palm Prix, right? We've all seen those. Nothing new there. Those have been around since 2.1. Uh, let's take a look at the settings so we can be sure of exactly what we're talking about here. And scroll down, and sure enough, there's Android 2.2, and we're talking build FRG01B for those of you playing at home. This is the official one. Um, we pushed ours manually. It's also coming over the air anytime now. So if you don't get it right this second, stay tuned. Uh, let's look at some of the other things we can do. Here, I got a couple apps already installed, and there it is move app to the SD card. It's not enabled for Linpack, but that's fine. You'll see it on other apps. Uh, let's look at something else. We've got location and security. All right, so here's another big change in Froyo. Uh, your screen lock. You can now do a pattern like normal, or you can do a pin lock or a password, alphanumeric, just like normal passwords. That's a very good thing, and then exchange policies should be able to set those as well. Uh, but let's go back to the good stuff, right? Uh, something else that's new in Froyo, no, don't worry about search history, no, don't worry about location, is the Google search will now search more than just Google, right? You got the web, you got apps, you got contacts, you got all, so it'll all do it there from the one app or widget. Also, here's the keyboard. We've seen this before, not new, but new to the droid. So if you swipe up from any of the keys, you get the letters, or you get the numbers and symbols. A very nice addition. Still not my favorite keyboard, but, you know, teach his own. Now, let's take a look at, oh, how about, let's see. Let's just look in the app drawer. Really nothing new app-wise. It automatically uh, updates with Amazon MP3. Google Maps needs to be updated again. And then you'll get the places and all that new stuff that's in 4.4. Let's look at the market. Remember, you get a new uh, some new market features in 2.2. So if you just look at any app, you'll see the comments are now in a tab of their own. That is a nice little addition. I like that. Hmm, no comments on that app. Weird. Uh, let's see what else. How about, ooh, you know what we need to look for? Let's look for Flash, because Adobe Flash. Android 2.1, we can run it. Dun, 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 dun. The market's been acting slow. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it's been a little wonky lately. I don't know if it's just so many people are coming to Android or if it's just acting up or what. So we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, if you hold down the home button, you can't really see it right now because this is brand new and we don't have that many apps open, but you can easily switch between your eight most recent apps. That's up from, forget if it was four or six before. But anyway, you've got eight now. All right, so back to the market, and weird, Adobe Flash is not appearing. Let's just try searching for Adobe Flash then. It should be there. I'm not sure why it's not. We're going to have to track that guy down. That's, yeah, that's a little odd, but we should be able to run Flash on the droid now that it has 2.2, so maybe the market's just catching up. I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out for you. Um, let's see, what else? How about... Uh, oh, wireless and networks. Now, this is odd. Remember how... Uh, Verizon said no tethering. Well, there it is. USB tethering. It's still there. We'll have to uh, try it out and make sure it actually works. But that's a little interesting. Cool. All right, let's look at the camera. We've got some new uh, camera features. Again, we've seen these on other phones with Froyo, but it's new to the Droid. So the big one is the buttons. When you rotate the phone, the uh, buttons and icons will rotate with it. It's very handy. For some reason, you want to take pictures upside down. Uh, the camcorder has the flash on it now. Let's see, where's the, the... That's not the flash button. Let's try that one. That's the flash button. So we'll turn the flash on, and now you can use the flash while you're taking video. Very nice addition as well. But let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? And what everybody really wants to see... Not the market. We've seen the market. How about... Some benchmarks, maybe? 
Benchmarks would be nice. Let's do a benchmark test. Fire up Linpack, which tests the core processing power. Now, we're only getting nine or so on this, and that's odd. Uh, this, the just-in-time compiler is definitely on this droid. We've looked at the files, it's there, but we're not seeing the scores we should. So that's a little weird. So what I want to do now is we'll cut and fire up Quadrant, which is that other uh, benchmark program that everybody's been using. And when you run Quadrant at the end, it compares it to other phones. So let's do that. And we'll just sit back and let you listen to the music while this guy's running. So here we go. All right, it's done, and let's see what we get. 920 something, and supposedly a little higher than Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, I kind of believe that when I see it, because the Galaxy S is a powerhouse, but there you go. So, guys, there's Froyo on the Motorola Droid. See ya. <laughs>